Hello friends, welcome back to School Management System in Laravel. In this video, we can do like a homework. This is the last video for homework because we need to create like a one of the homework reports. Right now, you need to go like every place like submitted homework, submitted homework. Suppose you can go here so you can see it like a, okay, this student, this is the submitted homework. But we don't want to do here. We just need to create a like a here one report like homework reports so inside you can click so whatever user submitted for the any class like this class and subject against so you can see it directly Be before we are did inside student side but is the only he can see his report but we don't we need to show like all the student report inside the admin sides so let's start and show you one by one how we can do it so first of all we need to create a new menu here like a homework reports so let's go to resources inside we need to go views Inside we need to go like layouts, inside we need to choose like header.blade.php. <coughs> Let's make uh, some zoom outs so we can see it like clearly. Just go down and here you can see it like our homework menu. You can see it like homework. So let's copy this one and paste bottom and just we can change like a homework report. And also you can change here like a homework report. Uh, also we need to do like a ac our active class so just paste here so is a menu showing like a active class okay so let's go back again refresh the page so we can see it like new menu available yes new menu is available so just create a new routes like homework homework reports so just go to routes inside you need to go web and just search like old routes so you can see it here there so just paste here and copy the above line and paste bottom and after you need to change this line just you can change here also you can change here okay so route successfully created now we need to go like a homework controller and inside we need to create a new function let's create a first one because i don't want to go down whatever do you want to like which place do you want to like you can create it okay so here i would create a routes after i create here like a one function like homework reports and just copy above one and paste here and here you can change like a homework to homework report okay and also we need to do like a report so we need to create a new file resources inside views views inside admin admin inside you can see it like a homework homework inside we need to create a new file report dot blade dot php okay so just we have copy list.blade.php and paste here i think we don't want to copy this file we need to copy about the student inside go to homework inside we have did like a submitted list so copy these files and paste here okay let me remove the first one like a, we have not did like this for each loop just removing also we don't need like a pagination so also you can remove it. this is the you can leave it because we need all things okay and just you can change like a homework report list so just we can change every place one by one and this is the all the filter we need so we don't want to remove it then so just we can search homework report and also you can change like a homework reports let's go back again and refresh the page how it's look show we can check so just go back and click on the homework report so here is the error not there you can see it like a class there subject there from homework date to homework date from submission date to submission date from submitted created date and to created submission date and also a reset button so let's change the reset button to our admin one because i have copy as a student one this reasons okay so i change here so is uh, everything is good now but we need to add another name like here like a student name so just go back again and we can create a new column here like a student name let me change the spelling mistake student name okay so is everything is clear because i have made space so we know okay this is the three line for the submitted work and this is the line we have asked for these words so report inside we can understand easily these reasons 
ओके सो आई जस्ट रिफ्रेश द पेज सो यू कैन सी इट लाइक स्टूडेंट नेम क्लास सब्जेक्ट होमवर्क डेट सबमिशन डेट एंड डॉक्यूमेंट डिस्क्रिप्शन क्रिएटेड डेट ऑल्सो सबमिटेड डॉक्यूमेंट सबमिटेड डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड सबमिटेड क्रिएटेड डेट सो वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड विच टाइम स्टूडेंट क्रिएट अ होमवर्क ओके ना वी नीड टू मेक अ क्वेरी सो वी कैन गेट द डेटा अबाउट द होमवर्क रिपोर्ट्स and also i already opened the database database inside we need to go like schools.com schools.com inside we have created like a new menu sorry new tables homework submit suppose do you want to follow the series so you can know about this menu here is a two submission there okay also student id same but is a homework id is a different different so let's go back again and we need to make a query and we can get the data here so here we can change like a homework submit date and just we need to use like get records so let's go to inside get record we have used for the students so here we can use for the no get record we use but we can create a new menu here just copy the student one okay like this is the all things you did otherwise let me show you one by one step by step so it's good for you get records get homework report i can create a new menu get homework report i just copy save means sorry copy the name and i just go here and i create a new function and i have not pass any parameter here you can see it here so let's copy the all things about this about this student one and just paste here and just go down i am not copying filtering i just copying the query so after we can do filtering copy okay so here you can get the data so what we did first first we did like homework dot star and after we have made a join query using is equal to homework dot id and homework submission dot homework id and after we know about homework inside is a class there and subject id there so we have made a query and we don't want to get the data about the student wise right? so just remove these lines okay also we need a like a one another query for the user table so we know okay this is the for a student data so users dot id homework submit dot student id so we just need to get a like a name means the first name and last name so users dot name has a first name user dot dot last name i don't want to create alias because here is the only last name there this reason okay because here we are using the name so i think sometime is like a two database name same this range and the issue same like you can see it like a class dot name so we don't want to create a alias here <coughs> like last name we don't want to but first name we need a alias so i already created alias so everything is good now just go back again and refresh the page so we can check it is working not working so working very well so let's create here a loop so just you need to go back again to reports page and just otherwise you need to go back again like a student submitted list and you need to copy bottom one like this one and just paste here and also you need to copy like a pagination so you can do it here quickly okay now we just need to add like a student name so just copy this line and just you can change like a first name and we can do another one is a last name okay i save this files just go back and refresh the page so you can see it we can get the data here you can see it student name submission description and like a submitted created dates also you can see it like submitted document and here is a student name okay so homework list homework report list inside you can see it like all the data you can find out because here is only two reports means two students is submit the homework this reason two time there here so now we need to make like a pagination also work let me show you the pagination after we can make like a filtering so just we can change here like a 22 1 i just go back again refresh the page so you can see it like a pagination also work and also here is a active class work with pagination okay so just again back same as whatever and i just click on the homework reports and now we need to make a filtering class name student name from to okay all the date 
but this is the filtering already there so just we need to copy and paste no one to do anything else so please carefully watch the video so you can easily understand okay just go to here and just copy like this one class name subject name and two homework just you can copy all thing and paste here now we need to add a two more filter first name and last name for the students like other filters i have copy paste so is a working very well created date wise you can see it like after the homework submission date wise and homework date wise and also subject name wise and class name wise filter there because i am always using the get method suppose you click here so you can see it this is the filter wise work suppose i can search only like english language and i click here search so you can see it like only one subject show means filter working very well so no issue so let's add a two field more like a student first name and student last name just go to reports and we just need to copy the class one and here you can change like a student if i are still first name so just we can change here placeholder so look like better and here i can just use like a first name i don't want to use like a student words this is the only like a viewer can see okay this is the student name but background code only showing the first name same like we can do it last name just copy and paste here and just you can change here like student last name also we can change here like first to last and also we can change here like a student first name so we can do it like a last name so let's go back again and we can check work or not so just refresh the page 100 percent work you can see it here student first name student last name so let's see here like a search anything so you can see it like autofill data already there because we have a copy paste and also here the request get okay last name so whatever there inside url this is the year we can showing so this one is good now so no issue so let's make for this one filtering now so just go back again and we can just copy paste work like class i think class you can copy paste also possible just you can copy paste two time because one is a like a first name one is a like a last name so just we can go to first name and just change here like first name first name also you can change here like user dot name so users dot name and also you can change like user dot last name so just we can change last name also we can change here last name to last name so i think filter done let's check working not working i just search now so working very well because here no like this last name there this reason not showing here the student one student one suppose i can one i can press so you can see it's showing suppose i can search here like student so also showing okay so working very well no issue let's make a, another student login and we can try is working not working so let's go to homework homework inside we can do like uh, like part time ss2 ss1 student i can log in okay so teach student and who is a class is a ss1 so ss1 class for the students so let's log in this the students i don't know his password so just add it and i will add a password for one two three four five six okay now i log out and i just add here and i log in now just go to like a my homework and here you, you can say like submitted homework submit homework just add any file here uh, i can add like this file i have attached a my homework okay and i click on just submit now so here is a homework successfully submitted suppose you can go to like submitted homework so you can see it here so let's log out and back to again admin so we can see it here admin at the red gmail.com password one two three four five six so here you can see it like homework inside you can go to homework reports so you can see it for the student submitted also his name is a student two suppose i can search here like two to his last name two so only showing a students 
सो इज हंड्रेड परसेंट वर्किंग वेरी वेल सो नो यू शू बिकॉज सपोज आई कैन सर्च स्टूडेंट सो इज लाइक ऑल इज मैचिंग टू शोइंग अदरवाइज आई कैन सर्च लाइक ओनली एस एस वन क्लास सो ओनली शोइंग दी एस एस वन क्लास स्टूडेंट्स एंड हियर यू कैन सी आई आर टेच होमवर्क हियर यू कैन डाउनलोड दी फाइल्स एंड ऑल्सो यू कैन डाउनलोड दी हियर फाइल बिकॉज ऑफ दी वी हैव ऑलरेडी मेड अ लाइक हियर कॉमन फंक्शन लाइक डाउनलोडिंग दिस इज द केयरफुली वॉच बिकॉज दिस इज द फंक्शन वेरी गुड सपोज डू यू वॉन्ट टू लर्निंग न्यू थिंग सो दिस इज द लाइक बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस इन युअर साइड सो यू कैन सी इट आई हेव जस्ट क्रिएटेड लाइक गेट होमवर्क इन साइड यू चेक फर्स्ट इज दिस मीन दिस मीन्स फॉर दिस क्लास क्लास इन साइड वॉट्स द टेबल वी हेव यूज सो दिस टेबल इन साइड इज अ डॉक्यूमेंट फाइल इज नॉट एम्प्टी ऑल्सो वी कैन चेक दिस इज द फाइल ऑलरेडी एक्जिस्ट यस फाइल एक्जिस्ट सो वी नीड टू प्रोवाइड द यू आर एल अदरवाइज वी कैन पास लाइक अ नल सो इज द बेस्ट पार्ट सो डू यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न समथिंग न्यू सो दिस इज द बेस्ट पार्ट फॉर दिस वीडियो मीन्स ओल्ड वीडियो एंड ऑल्सो यू कैन सी इट लाइक हियर इज द बेस्ट पार्ट अबाउट द लाइक अ फिल्टरिंग नो बडी कैन शो यू लाइक दिस फिल्टरिंग बिकॉज दिस द फिल्टरिंग इज अ वेरी गुड अदरवाइज सम पीपल डूइंग लाइक अ पोस्ट मेथड वाइज सो सपोज यू कैन रिफ्रेस द पेज सो ऑल द फिल्टरिंग इज गोइंग टू बैक सेम इज वॉट एवर देर बिफोर लाइक दिस सो गेट मेथड वाइज द फिल्टरिंग ऑल्सो वर्क वेरी वेल एंड ऑल्सो लाइक दिस मेथड यू कैन यूज सो दिस वन वर्किंग वेरी वेल सो इट्स गुड फॉर यू यू कैन लर्निंग न्यू थिंग दिस रीजन आई एक्सप्लेन ओके एंड आफ्टर आई मेड यर लाइक इज नॉट एम टी फॉर दिस वन सपोज हियर इज अ पासिंग लाइक दिस ब्लैंक यू आर एल लाइक यर ब्लैंक सो इज नॉट एम टी सो इज नॉट गोइंग टू इन सेट सपोज आई कैन गेट अ लाइक यू आर एल वॉट एवर आई कैन रिटर्न सो वी कैन शो हियर लाइक डाउनलोड एंड ऑल्सो आई वेड अ डाउनलोड टेक बिकॉज समटाइम वॉट इज द ब्राउजर इन सेट वी कैन ओपन दी फाइल सो इज बेटर वी कैन एड अ लाइक अ डाउनलोड टैग हियर and also we can show like a description and also we can see it like a created at and this is the data i know i already explained in a, like a student side so i think you know you know about it but i think i need to explain like a get document so you can better understand this reason i have explained okay and uh, i hope you can understand i think now everything is clear and uh, let's do now, now next step about the fees collection 100% now i am starting the fees collection because otherwise like uh, in this project lots of completed just we need to short out like a dashboard work and also we need to short out this one and after we can short out the notification and message system after i need to finish this project and uh, be because i need to continue like my e-commerce project this reasons okay and i hope do you want to enjoy so but do you have any question so please comment out next video we can continue like a fees collection it means a new module and uh, do you have any questions so please comment down and we have already started like uh, one community so do you have uh, any questions so you need to learn inside youtube community community inside you can see it lots of question so you can give the answer so you can see it okay what is your knowledge okay and i hope do you want to enjoy so do you want to like this video so please like do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel thank you for watching